we're going to talk now about the internet and the World Wide Web. Hopefully you have just seen that video that kind of explains everything a lot more simply than I ever could. I just want to point out that this is something a lot of people don't really pay much attention to, but when you're looking at a URL or the internet address, they are actually coded with numbers. And browsers then take those addresses, those numeric addresses, and make them a domain name. And that's how come we can type words and access a web page. And in your textbook in figure 2.5, this is a um, list of what is called domain labels and country abbreviation codes. When you are going, um, when you are looking at a URL address like this, the last three letters will either be a .com, a .net, or they might have like a .au or a .us. Those are all indicators of the type of domain. Here you can see a .com is a commercial and this also helps just so you know this helps you to evaluate websites for content. If it's a commercial organization you can pretty much expect that they are selling something. They are promoting their businesses. But then if you have EDU that's going to be an educational institution, a university, a school, a government institution is going to be um, like the whitehouse.gov is going to be an example of a um, domain label used by a government institution. Then you also have a couple others, military, net, org, and K-12. They are um, coming up with some other domains that, you know, like the free safe domain for children only. Um, and you can research that on the internet a little bit on your own. So the actual World Wide Web was started in the early 1990s and um, I remember when it happened um, the um, it up to that point when you were telecommunicating on the internet um, it was completely text-based you had like five options number one was to do a news group or a message board number two was shop um, number three might have been a help desk um, and so it was very simple well then they came up with what was called graphic interface and that's when hyperlinks started coming um, out and being developed and this HTML and HTXML all started it's it's a hypertext transfer protocol so when you hit that link it will take you to a website A web page works um, using hypertext or hypertext markup language, HTML, and hyperlinks that target a certain place. When you are, for example, creating a website, um, with Web 2.0 tools, a lot of them will use the icon of a circle or a little chain that shows links. So learn to recognize those icons in the software that you're using. Um, web browser software, even though you're seeing the real pretty formatted um, web information or content, what is behind that content is called HTML source code. And I can show you really quick, when you're looking at a, um, a web page, you can view the source code in um, in a number of ways. So let me show you really quick what that looks like. So here I have my Chrome browser and when I click over on this little icon here this will give me all of my tools that are available to me. I am going to go to the tools and here you have um, a, a link for viewing source code. So when I click on that link it is going to take me to all of the source code for that page. And this is a, also a good way if you view source code at different um, websites, it helps you too to figure out 
um, how to format your own HTML documents so that you can um, start learning those codes and it, it's pretty logical and we'll we'll address that a little bit later in your textbook there is um, a chart that talks and discusses uh, website categories you can see a portal is a website that offers a variety of internet services you have news portals business education entertainment review this a little bit so that you understand the types of web pages that you are looking at So the next skill that you really need to emphasize is how to search for information on the web. Um, a search engine is a directory that's maintained by a search engine company that collects information on different websites and indexes the content. So that is what helps you to find information is putting in those words helps you to find um, information out on the internet and there's a couple of different kinds of search engines one is a search engine which is like Google and then another is the subject directory which you might find in um, Yahoo for example has a directory now if you want to find search engines and you want to find subject directories you can go to a search engine to do that I like Google because I think Google does a really good job of indexing billions of websites but let's just say I want to find a directory on education I might put education and search and directory and then I'm gonna search and here we've got all kinds of directories um, Yahoo has a really good directory um, search site but this is a way of browsing information so you you know let's say you don't know exactly what you're looking for but you can go dip, drill down into different topics and categories so if I just want to do um, K-12 education I can see that they've got 49,700 plus websites so I'm going to click on that K-12 and then they're going to have some other categories within that K-12 education so here I can see that there's English language arts we've got math they do also have some other categories that you can look at I am going to go look at my science and that's going to drill even more so here's some subjects so this is a really good tool for browsing topics of interest to you if you just want to just go browse another type of browsing search engine that I would like to show you is what is called a meta search engine one of my favorites is dogpile um, but if you want to explore some of the other ones, if you put in meta search engine and click find, you're going to find all kinds of information on meta search engines and what they call meta crawlers. What's nice about these meta search engines is that <clears throat> they will index multiple search engines. So when you go to search dogpile, for example, it is going to go find all of the information in different um, search engines so let's let's go search for a topic so let's say that my thematic unit is on dinosaurs <clears throat> and I want to go find out the uh, you know dinosaur um, thematic unit ideas from somebody else I'm gonna go fetch and what dogpile does is it goes out and it searches a number of different sites it will go to Yahoo and it'll tell you right here this one was found on Yahoo this one was found on Google but the dogpile just searches Google Yahoo and Yandex but you can look for um, other meta search engines that might search other more obscure search engines here's some Bing engines most search engine meta search engines lists you just have to kind of find you know I stumbled on dogpile so I tend to use it more often than not but you just have to play around and find out what's best for you